Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I just wanted to, because I did upload two videos today, or at least one or two, I don't know, but this is going to be my first commentary video that I've made in a long time, so I just wanted to uh, talk about the Friday the 13th lawsuit and everything that's going on and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy and sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, let's do. So basically, so basically, I just want to talk about how this lawsuit has been having a really big impact on the Friday the 13th community. And I'm really thinking that we can really get another movie if this lawsuit would just hurry up. And a lot of questions have been answered before, but there are some that still I am scratching my head on. Like, one, if they do finish this lawsuit, if it's over, right, will the game still continue? And I'm still thinking, like, that would be a great question because will it still continue? Because apparently, um, every time a game or something like that gets an update, they really have to, I think they have to pay for it. So, they just ran out of money, that's why they couldn't do dedicated servers, that's why they couldn't have any more bug updates, that's why they said they were done with the game. And a lot of people are saying that it is dead, like the game is dead, and I don't think so. Because the game on its own is still gaining popularity. I see newcomers all the time in my lobbies, and people on group posts on Xbox, so the game is still up and running. It's not dead at all. It still has a great community and still have a great a lot of players, right? And that's great because that means more money that they can make, even though that the game is only 10 to $20 right now. And I'm still thinking, like, yeah, that that's bad, but it's still good because they still have the kill packs and the clothing packs that they used to have three years ago. And I think that, well... It's great because now we can have like at least some, a few new newcomers and the game is not making as much money as it used to because people are used to buy it. And the only reason why Dead by Daylight is not dead or in the ground right now is because Friday the 13th is one of those main competitors in the horror franchise. And in belief, if this game was still going, I'm pretty sure it would have took off and Dead by Daylight would be crushed. But that's the only other horror game besides Little Nightmares and all that stuff, etc, etc. But Friday the 13th was one of those big horror games that could have succeeded if not for this lawsuit. And Sean S. Cunningham, if I'm saying that right, and Victor Miller both need to kind of just, you know, stop. Uh, like, just really stop... Um, doing this whole lawsuit thing. It's been three years and stuff like that. And I really feel like they should think and think about like, hmm, maybe I should actually make a new movie, Make them, let them make a new movie, and stop thinking about like thousands of dollars from like years ago. Because like, that was like 30 to 20 years ago. And they can make more money now. Because since the game the movies, the advertisement, all that stuff has been in the ground for a while. I'm thinking, like, they should just stop this because, one, if they make a movie, it's going to blow up. Like, I'm serious. Because of all the anticipation and all of the waiting for this, like, a new movie. Because the last time we got a movie for Friday the 13th was basically a decade ago. And that is sad. And I think that it should really deserve a comeback because it's a really beloved franchise and I really feel like it should get more praise. And it already does. So if they really want to continue doing this and stuff like that and all of this uh, drama with the lawsuit, it's just stupid. Like, they need to really stop it. It's just stupid. And... I really feel like they should really um, wake up and realize that there are fans that are waiting for all this. And I feel like they do realize that. And I will say this again, and I will say it like many times. Like, if the game like gets back up and running, they can upload, uh, like, not upload, but like update all the stuff that they wanted. Because everything from... Uber Jason, Grendel Map, all the new environmental kills, kill packs, clothing packs, 
all new grab kills. All that stuff can be put into the game because it is uh, already in the files. They just can't do it because of the permission and they have to upload that and it would cost a lot of money. And also they have to polish the kills and all that stuff. But regardless, they can do that. And I feel like if they would just get this lawsuit over with, they can make a lot more money than back then. You know, like they can really make a lot more money than they did back then. So I'm just thinking like they should really stop thinking about getting money from 30 to 20 years ago because that's kind of stupid. I mean, I get it. You want your money back, but it's done like that was 20, 30 years ago. Just stop it. It's like, done. So I'm thinking like you really need to just like, uh, let the fans have what they want, because if Uber Jason and all that stuff comes back out, they will make a bunch of money from that, and if they start, uh, like, releasing stuff, like, movies again, that will make the Friday the 13th franchise go in popularity again, because not only is Halloween, Ghostface, Leatherface, like, Freddy Krueger, they're all, their series, they're all getting a new movie, and, Friday the 13th is just in the dirt right now, and that's sad. So now would be the great time for a comeback because this is where the horror community and all the horror stuff is coming back for newcomers, and Friday the 13th would fit perfectly in there for newcomers and stuff like that. And old people that have watched the movies from back then and newcomers all will enjoy it if they can do it right. And I feel like it would blow up that he can do it in the right direction. And I feel like that would be great. Because not only are they going to be uh, making a new movie, they can also start selling toys again. And I like collecting the uh, NECA figures that they did. And the Part 7... Uh, the Part 7 uh, figure is coming out soon, and I'm going to try and make a review on that, but probably because of the lawsuit and this COVID situation, it's probably been slowed down. So it's probably not going to be coming out in a while. They said that it's going to be coming out like, I don't know, maybe March or April, and I, I don't know. I was going to try and do a review on that, and I really feel like they should uh, just let them like just let them start updating again. But anyways, um, look, I'm just, uh, I just wanted to clear my mind on all of this stuff because, to be honest, like, all these unreleased kills that I've been seeing online, like, all this stuff is in the files, as you can see here that I'm showing on the video, but all this stuff is unreleased, and it already is in the files, and all the gun media has to do, I don't even think they're on the project anymore, but if whoever is running it right now, whoever is on the company right now, on the game, all they have to do is just press upload. That's all they have to do. But they can't because of the up the, the lawsuit and stuff, and that's stupid. So I'm just I'm just trying to think like if you're going to continue doing this lawsuit, like why? Like just really think about what you're doing because now I get it. Like you want your money back. And let's talk about the movies for a second, because I've been rallying about the game for like a few minutes now. The movies, they are fantastic. People are still watching them. People are still buying movies, running them online, all this stuff. So the fact that people say that this franchise is dead is really ridiculous. Like, the, it's still going. This franchise is really beloved by a lot of people. And I'm really thinking that I don't know how they're going to pull a new movie off. Rebooting it entirely, maybe, but... I don't know. Probably do what something like Halloween did or something like that. I don't know. And like I said, suggestion, if this does get enough uh, support or anything, if you are going to make a new movie, try to bring back one of the OG actors. Because, like, Kane Hodder is one of people's favorite actors. And for Friday the 13th, is Jason. And CJ Graham, he's also another favorite. Bring back someone, like, you can bring a new person, but if you, it depends on what type of Jason you're going for. But if you're going to bring it back to its roots, try to bring it back so it will actually feel like it's coming back from its roots, like Halloween did. But also make it a little bit more of a realism and make it more of a standard slasher film, like, for today. And I know that's hard to do, because this new generation, it just is, like, really, 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 really messed up. But if they can do this, it would be a great time to do it right now, because it's just fantastic for them to do it at this moment. Finish this lawsuit already, because it's done. Your movie 
made a lot of, like, a lot of money, and just please just stop thinking about, like, all this money that you could have got, and also another question is, what if one of the people that are, uh, sh uh, Shauna's Cunningham, or if, uh, or if, um, uh, Victor Miller dies, then what happens? Well, this is probably what's gonna happen. If one of them dies, I hope not, but if one of them dies, then either one, the people, or if they have family members or anything, they're probably going to ask them, do you want to continue this case? And if they say yes, it will continue being like it was, normally. But if they say that it is just, uh, you know, you can keep it, you can take this, then that means that they will, uh they will basically just have the rights back depending on which one dies and see what happens. But most likely option one is going to happen because it's still a lot of money. I get that. It's still a lot of money. Friday the 13th, the, uh, the movies, the franchise, the game, everything made a lot of money, and I get that. But really, in reality, they need to stop with all this and think about what you can do now. Because now, money can be made easily, like really easily in the movie business. People will see anything because people are entertained easily. So just probably think about what you're doing and yeah, I have nothing really else to say. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to get this off my chest. And I also wanted to just make my first commentary video. Because I think the last one I did was a very long time ago. So my commentary video on this was just the Friday the 13th, the game, and the lawsuit, and all this stuff. And maybe I repeated a few things, yeah, a few times. But, um... Yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video and make my first commentary video in a long time, and I will probably continue making these because uh, speaking your mind on different subjects like this is really nice. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to keep you, uh, you know, just make my first new fresh content on my channel, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.